Hello and welcome! I am Zyner, and here we are again. I'm sure you see this empty screen of worlds that we have here, and you're probably wondering what I'm doing. Well, if you watch my Ultra Hardcore, you know at the end of it that I said that I wanted to do a Hardcore Let's Play. Simply because it's more interesting, there's more to do, well not more to do, but you, you gotta be a lot more careful. You know, this just seems like a good idea to me. So, here I am. Empty world select screen, because that's what I do. I have a tendency to clear things out. And uh, we're going to make a hardcore world. And we are going to call it... I don't know what we're going to call it. I guess we will call it... We're going to call it Mountain... Mountain... I wish I could spell. Mountain House. Because... Okay, everything's on. We're going to leave the seed blank. We want to get what we get. World type is default. Structures is on. But uh, let me go into talking about why I didn't wait for 1.3. Now, I had been watching. I, I periodically check to see what's been going on with the latest snapshots and whatnot. And it turns out that Jeb decided that he's going to remove emerald ore blocks entirely. Uh, so... There's a very good chance that I won't be able to mine them, and that was pretty much the big reason why I wasn't uh, doing that. Like, I wanted to make sure I had a world that I would have access to Emerald Ori. St stupid chicken! Stop it. Stop it. So, but with that not being an available thing, we will just prepare for the next patch. As such, I will be making a cow farm, which is a good supply of food, a good supply of leather, the leather of which I will need for the purpose of uh, making books. And I don't think I'm going to make an enchanting table until that comes out too, or any books at all, just because I don't want to feel like I'm taking advantage of things. Because I know it's coming, so I'm going to avoid it. Now, the reason why we're calling this mountain house is because I want to find a nice hilly area, preferably extreme hills, maybe jungle if I have no other choice. And actually, I have a really good idea. I do I am going to want books for enchanting for the enchanting. However, the thing is, is I don't necessarily have to do that. I can do one of two things. I can either A, collect the leather, and then burn it every time I make a book to basically uh, say that I use the leather in making the book, or I can stock it up and remake all the books whenever the patch comes out. And I do not see a single tree for miles. I'm going to eat one of these... I'm going to do my best to not waste food in this series as much as possible. It's just, I can't, you know, emphasis, emphasis, emphasize enough how much I believe that, well, how much, with Etho's proof that he showed, just that you can waste food, that I'm going to try to avoid wasting food. And I realize it was already a waste of food, having eaten it without cooking it. However... The last thing I want to die to... Ooh. That's not a mountain biome, but uh, if there's a nice hill in it, it will do. I hate that color of wood. I kind of want birch trees, but uh, I haven't seen a single tree yet besides the jungle trees. Now, I'm not going to have use of the cocoa plants, which is fine for now, because I don't really do things that re relate to brown wool. Not because of the fact that brown wool is hard to get, but because of the fact that Brown's just not one of my colors. And yes, I'm collecting cacti because, well, if you watch my other things, you know what I think about lime green. Which obviously means I'm going to have to get bones. Hopefully everyone enjoyed the finale to the Ultra Hardcore. That's all the more I'm going to say about that. Things did not go as planned, but uh, they turned out better than I had possibly expected they could have. Now, there's some exposed stone over here, but I don't have any tools. Uh, and I don't have any wood to make a boat, so I just we're going to stick along this beach. It seems to connect. I think the fan might be a little bit high. There we go. If I'm feeling a little bit of discomfort from the heat, then oh well, I will get past it and I won't worry about it. 
flower. I just want to have access to all the dyes because my plan my plan is to come back here. Cactus. Yes, that'll do. I want to be able to have access to all the dyes. Hmm, I don't even have to go across that landmass. Hold on down here. Hmm. Don't know. Don't care. But, uh, anyhow, I want to build a house into the side of a little mountainy area, and this isn't loading too well. Ooh, here's another cave. That's right, cactus markers. Because I don't really have anything else, and they are so out of place there that I will know that they are markers. However, I want a decently sized hill to live in, and, well, normally jungle biomes provide, but this one is not. Hmm. Now, these should give me regular saplings. Now, one of the first things, I am going to want to go and find, uh, going somewhere with this. I want to go and find an extreme hills biome, I guess. So I'm going to want to make a boat and probably travel through the water a bit because it does seem like the water can go pretty far. And all I have to do is make a compass to come back here should I decide that I really, really need a jungle. But uh, that's enough of that. I'm going to want to cook this food before I go, obviously. Whoops. Didn't mean to put that extra in there. Got an inventory full of crap already, but I'll be able to dump this off once I make a house. But, uh... I really hate to make you guys watch this stuff, but with it being hardcore, the beginning is always the hardest. I do have a few more tweaks to make to my texture pack before I consider it done. So... Yeah, that's pretty much that with that. Probably should have grabbed at least an extra log to make some torches. And I don't even have a sword, so this is a really bad idea. Coal? No coal. Okay, I'm going to want, uh, let's see, eight for a furnace, three for a pick, Two for a sword, two for a shovel, and three for an axe. That turns out to... 16? No, not 16. Where did I learn to count? 18. Ah, uh, that'll do. Now, the thing about the new AI is generally mobs won't come out into the daylight under any circumstances, for some reason. Three... Three. It's not much, but it's something. I guess I'll go over here. Ooh, what I should do... Make an axe. And harvest these trees right away. I can wait on the other things till I have more wood, considering I have one plank of wood now. The food should be done, hopefully, before I get to the, uh, get down four food bars. Food hunger, hard, hungry bar things. They're really bars now. They used to be, like, haunches, I guess you could call them, or drumsticks, whatever you want to call them. But they're bars now, because that's what they are in my texture pack, and so they are bars. Uh, my chances of living in this jungle, considering I don't really see a huge hill like I want, or at least even moderately sized, but I want one that's pretty gigantic. So, put one of these in here. Actually, I think I'll put three. Hey! You're not supposed to be out here! Now, uh, I'm gonna waste a bit, half a food, but that's okay. 
Uh, there we go. I unfortunately just wasted half of a piece of charcoal. Ooh. And apparently I need to make a slight tweak to the location on... Uh, I've noticed that for some reason the furnace graphics don't line up quite right. And I'm going to have to tweak those. Looks like uh, the arrow needs moved down one pixel, and the fire needs moved over one pixel and down one pixel. But uh, I'd been working on overhauling things as much as possible. So, Ooh, don't want to do this yet. Uh, heck with it. Gonna make a boat. Obviously, I don't want to put it in the water here because this is just a little pond kind of looking thing here. I could go down there and look for torches, or look for torches, look for coal. However, I I may have to dig out a very large area for the house I want to do. So, I'm not too worried about finding coal. However, this looks like an ocean biome because it is very deep. And, who knows, that could come in handy. I've always wanted to test if the deeper the water, the more likely you are to catch a fish. However, that's going to be a little bit farther down the road. I am at some point going to want to come back here because ever since they've introduced cats, it's been pretty much my goal to have a cat for every series. Now, I could spend a night here, get a cat, and then venture off, but uh, I don't really end up leaving in places because they're not really combat pets, so I just kind of... Let him wander around my house. Well, he doesn't wander. They, you tell him to sit, and that's it. And it's actually kind of disappointing. Right off into the sunset, the day of our first night, or the night of our first day, rather. So that's a good indicator on how long I've been recording. Very handy, actually. Uh, unloaded areas over there. If I ever see down to like, well, chunk error shouldn't really occur. Uh, I know in my Ultra Hardcore, I kind of cheated a bit with one of the little graphical things to see a mine shaft. However, that was just to advance the series faster. The chances of me finding another mine shaft completely at a random were pretty low. I'm normally really unlucky with mine shafts. However, if I see one... Ooh, speaking of which, I'm guessing that's water. I can't see into it. Ah, they're not water, but lava. It's a very expansive ocean. Hopefully we find a nice extreme hills biome, as it's listed, before the end of this episode, and I will make it up to 30 minutes long to try and find it. Now, obviously because this is hardcore and not ultra-hardcore, Gold will not be pretty much a necessity of life. Uh, so I will make a clock, and that clock will be used to time my episodes. This is not an extreme hills biome, this is more of a plains biome, and that is a taiga. Or snow, or whatever you want to call it. The technical in-game term is taiga, so I think we refer to it as taiga because it sounds a lot like tiger, and I like cats. Yeah. So, that's it for that. Uh, I am going to just kind of roll around in my boat near the edge here. If I see some easily accessible coal, I'll grab it. Maybe. I haven't even made a sword, so it's actually unlikely. But, uh... I really, really want to find an extreme hills biome. I don't want to just dig into the ground and live underground. I want to actually live in the side of a mountain. I don't... Every single time I end up finding a hill that I want to live in, I actually end up pretty much jutting out of the side of it straight into water for some reason. I don't want to do that. I want to actually have a nice, reasonable entrance. Maybe a little bit hidden that'll come in the future, though. The first thing we'll be doing, the interior, and having a livable establishment to begin with. Complete with a uh, storage room. And then there will be an advanced storage room, which 
they won't really be advanced. It'll just be uh, more room for common materials such as uh, cobble, dirt, gravel. I believe that's pretty much the most common of things. But uh, just one of my standard kind of storage rooms. Although I think for the uh, the base storage room, whatever, the, not the advanced one. The advanced one's just basically going to be a hole in the wall with chests in it, more or less. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of playing around with redstone, and timing and whatnot, just because redstone's fun. But uh, that's not the point of this. The point of this is to basically play some hardcore and not die. And do a let's play in it at the same time. Now I realize I could do a regular let's play and just stop whenever. You know, I keep looking at the clock and I keep on thinking that day and night cycles are longer than they should be. Uh, I'm not a big fan of snow biomes, but that's quite possibly my ideal hill. I want to get a nice roundabout look at that. It's got a nice beach that I can shred for sand. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Is it an ex like fairly thick hill? I'm looking for preferably like 30 to 40 blocks thick. Ooh, we might have to investigate that. Is this an island, too? Hmm, doesn't appear to be an island. Ooh, cows. There's a skeleton and a zombie. Boat is broken. That hill. If that's the same hill, that's, that's nice. I like that. Although, I don't know what we're going to do for the night. I'm not just going to dig into a hole. If I were to do anything, I would go down in a cave oops, and start mining. But, uh... People are wondering what I'm doing here. There we go. Oops. Making a pick. I mean, I have bad math. Apparently it was uh, 17. I'm going to use up this stupid pick. Yep, I called it a stupid pick. But I'm placing it there just so that way I can revert to the normal locations afterwards. The sword is not in the right location. There we go. Pick this up. And we're going to get ourselves some source of food and uh, maybe leather. Now, I'm not going to want to kill them all. I think I might actually leave two to make sure that there's some for breeding later. Because like I said, I'm really going to want that. Um, I know there was four over here at least. There's one, there's two. And there's a wolf and a pig. Pigs, they're a source of food. That's it. So, hate to break it to you, pig, but uh, you're not getting bread, you're getting murdered. Everybody loves a little slice of murder in the morning. Oh, fall damage. Oh, maybe not. Hello, wolf. I hear a spider. Where are you, dirty spitter? Bugger ambushed me. Two string. I can make a fishing pole. Lots of wolves, lots of wolves. Hopefully they don't despawn. I don't know if they were ever uh, changed to persistent. It's something I would, I should probably know. Uh, oh, also, I believe there's... Wait, why did you phase through the ice? Cheaty stuff. I believe Silk Touch is going to be able to pick up ice in the next patch, so as long as I'm, as I'm careful, I should be able to decorate with it. Ooh. Creeper! Dirt! Building blocks. I'm gonna end up with enough of it once I start building my house. Hmm. 
Yeah. So, apologize for the mostly boring first night. Oh. Why not two? Only three string? Sad panda. But it looks like the day is approaching. I need to take a good walk over this hill. There's a cow. Finding these cows is going to be a bit of a pain. Transporting them is going to be even more of a pain. Hello, Mr. Fox. Yep, that's what I tried to make them into with my texture pack, is foxes. I believe I mentioned this in Gift Warped. Uh, and I sh I think the first time I showed it was in the Ultra Hardcore, so if you follow me, you already know that. If you don't, well, now you know. But, uh, if you're new to my videos, and you're wondering what the texture pack is, and you haven't quite grasped the concept yet, this is mine. I started with the base texture pack, and I've slowly evolved, changing some textures, improving others, trying to overall make it look a little bit more high definition than the default. Um, but that's enough of that. If you want to know about that, there's a few videos up. They are a bit out of date to the latest changes I've made to it. Um, whenever 1.3 comes out, and the, there's a new showcase put out for it, I'll put out a new texture pack showcase for anyone that is caring. That little red squares you're seeing, get out of the water, pig, we'll show them. That right there, that is the critical hit graphic now. Um, that's what I, yeah, so. That's new, people haven't seen that. Nobody, except me. There are f more tweaks, and I'll mention them should I ever get to those points. But, uh, day is approaching. I haven't really looked at this hill. I've spent the time running around killing pigs. There's a burning zombie up there. He is burning and being more burning. Whoa. Hello, hole. I see coal. I want coal, however, I'm not going to get into that just yet. And if I'm right, my house should be built. I'm going to build into right here. I do see that water there, and that's a bit disturbing. However, seeing as how far inland it is, it's probably only a one deep water pool that's most likely frozen. And if I build right there, this mountain should serve my purposes beautifully. And it also has a cave right outside of it that looks like it goes down probably at least 15 to 20 blocks. That'll put me at gold level, so I should be able to make that watch fairly early in. Um, this is not bad. I like this. I like having easy access water, but normally whenever I try to build into a mountain, the water is right here, and my entrance is right there. Something similarly annoying. But, uh, we've got to break this down. Break it down now. Uh, these trees are extremely annoying, but I believe if I build a tree farm out of them and limit their height, it shouldn't be too bad. I don't want to destroy my precious terrain that I plan to build on. This is dangerous as hell. There we go. I don't want floating trees outside of my entrance, which is why I made all the effort to do this. Now, those trees can stay for now. Do you expand anywhere else? That's dirt. Which I just dug up. DIRT! It's DIRT! Okay, that's filled in. Now we're gonna dig into here. I'm gonna remove... Probably... A couple layers. I'm gonna change this... Like so. Because I'm gonna remove to here. I'll probably create some kind of a dirt overhang later on. Maybe add a little bit of stone. Bit of st bit of stone! A little bit of stone! No. A little bit of stone to try and make it look more natural. Uh, just an insight into the things I want to do. The inside of this, it's going to be fairly simple at first because I want it to... I want it somewhere to live first. And then I'll expand from that in multiple directions. Like, I could probably... And I won't be able to put the storage room that way. However, it should be able to fit if I send it that way. Heck, I could probably build more in between there, branch them out into little rooms or something. 
make an enchanting room a little bit off the side here, go that way, whatever. I'll have to figure these things out later. I'll probably... There's an idea. Uh, let me count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Ooh. No. Sorry, but the entrance has to be uniform. Like so. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. I need to stop counting out loud. Okay, ten. Goes there. This is will this is will be door. Good English, man. Good English. So the doorway will be right here. I'm gonna dig this in. Some blocks here. Maybe I'll have a little look see. It's about midday. Got about five minutes to go. Uh preferably the other episodes I'm gonna try to limit them down to twenty. Uh I'll probably cut a lot of tedious stuff and whatnot out just to save time. I wanna make shorter episodes that have pretty much the same amount of useful information in them. Um, not cutting this first one because it's very dark in game. Now, as I'm sure you can tell, this first area is going to be 10 by 10. Not 10 by 10. Uh, 10 wide total. Uh, as for the inside area, maybe I'll make this 10 as well. I'll make the first room very square. And if I'm right, I should be able to go up two more blocks. No problem, which will put us at four high. Very roomy. Uh, this, these, these are, this is not going to be permanent, uh, the locations of these things. These are here simply because of the fact that I'm going to need them. One of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to put a door between this episode and the next one. I'm going to be clearing this out, getting it ready. Like I said, it's going to be four high, and it's going to be ten wide and ten long. Uh, ten from the door here, right there. So, speaking of doors, place those there. I am going to redo this outside at some point. Uh, I haven't quite decided how I want to do that yet. But for now, we need a couple of doors. Now, I'm not a big fan of this jungle wood that I'm building with, which is why it's going to go towards sticks and chests and stuff that do not get colored. And I also want these doors like this. Normally I prefer them the other way, but uh, my design idea that I have in mind, well, the general plan I have in mind, they'll look a lot better inset like that. So, I'm not going to cut this out yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, if you're wondering how I'm going to, like, what my format for digging this all out is going to be, it's very simple. I'm going to dig four in each side, like this. This is only three. Yes. And then what I'll do is I'll tunnel that way till I reach the other cutout like that. And then I'll slowly clear out the inside. That I'll be doing later. As for the roof, it's going to start out too high like it is now. And then once I get all this middle cut out, I'm going to raise it. Now, for building purposes, I'm going to plant a couple of regular trees out here. These will be periodically harvested. We've got about three minutes or so. That is if the uh, rising and the setting is actually as I believe it's supposed to be. Cook with these five. I'm looking at four and a half with what I put in there. But, uh, that's okay. Really shouldn't dig this out just because just because gobblestone. Hmm. I am going to do some kind of a flooring out here. I think I'm going to bring it out five, like so. I believe that's five. Yes. I'm going to bring it out five. And I'm going to do some kind of a flooring here, probably out of wood, most likely. 
Mm, you have to decide what I want to do with it. Like I said, I'm probably going to try and make a semi-natural overhang from this. Which means there's going to be a small bit of terraforming, but not in the way that people normally do. Normally terraforming means they're removing land. I'm going to be adding to it. Giving it flavor that was never there. Obviously, hey, this means I'm going to be cooking up things like smooth stone and whatnot for the purpose of actually adding on to this. Like... First of all... This is not going to be symmetrical in the end, and I think the overhang will start on this level. So there's like going to be, you know, like a little bit of bump or so here. This will raise up a bit over the rest of it, and then the rest of it will more or less follow the land. Uh, I don't want to just dome it off, because like I said, I want to look at least mostly natural. As for this down here, hmm. Maybe you guys can give me your opinions on that. I don't want to keep looking at the sun, but I'm going to have to find gold. And then I'll obviously keep the uh, clock easily accessible. I'll, you know, sneakily look at it every time I open my inventory and stuff and whatnot. So it'll be a day and a night cycle, and that'll keep every single one of them a 24-hour in-game period. And it'll keep the episode shorter, so hopefully, you know, they won't seem tedious to watch. Oh, there goes my pick. Oh. I'm going to use this up. Just to prove to you guys that I'm not just going to throw it away in between the episodes as well. And unfortunately, this thing is so slow to mine that by the time I use it up, the episode will probably be over. Now, ooh, ooh, I'm going to need pretty much a full set of armor, um, just because it's hardcore. Ooh, my door's open. It's about night time. I believe I should be able to dig out the rest of this, with this, and then stop it. Uh, whenever we next start an episode, I'll be starting it at daytime, just so we can go from day to night in every episode. I'm going to avoid sleeping through nights as much as possible. I am going to add beds for the purpose of some flare. Because I want it to be, you know, even if I'm not going to use the bed, I want to have a more realistic kind of bed kind of setting and stuff. Oh! And that pick broke, it is night time out, and when we next come back, this area will be cleared. However, there won't be much more than maybe a couple of chests laying around. Probably on that side of the door, just to throw in some of this random junk. But, uh, I am Zinder. Hopefully, Hardcore will keep you interested. And I'm going to send you off with a staking. But, uh... Hopefully you like this series. If you do, rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.